Okay, hello everyone. All right, so in this video, let's talk about mixed mathematical expressions. Okay, so the way Java works, um, you know, it, it, it may confuse you sometimes when you're mixing, you know, um, certain um, math expressions. And so um, let's see this. If I declare a variable of, let's say, type um, short, right, and I call this first number, and I declare another variable of say type short and I call it second number now let's initialize first number two two and second number two three if I come here and I create a variable short right and I call it result and I set it to first number plus second number and I try to print this out system dot out dot print ln result. Well, yeah, let's just say result. Now this looks just fine, right? I am basically adding two short values, and I'm storing a result. Okay, five in a short variable because actually this this result variable of type short can hold five. It can store five. It has space to store five. But when I compile this, I get an error. It says possible loss of precision. It says it found an int. It, it requires a short. It, requ it requires a short because I declared this variable to only hold short values. So it's requiring a short value. But it's saying it found an int. That means that it found an int here. Although I declared these two values as short values, when they were added up, for some reason, it became an int. That's how Java treats shorts, bytes, and ints themselves. Anytime you mix these data data types, let's say in 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 a mathematical expression, you're adding up, adding them up, subtracting them up, mixing them anyway in math. If you're adding short, byte, and int, the result becomes an int. It doesn't matter if you in this case we were adding two short values, the result became an int. That's how it works. That's how they're treated. Anytime you're dealing with shorts, bytes, and ints in, in math, the result, okay, after the calculation becomes an int. And so what that means is the value that's going to store the result also has to be an int. So over here, it's telling me that it found an int here, but then what is, what is, what is actually required is a short because I declared this variable as a short. As a short. So I need, so I need to make sure that because this is this is resulting in an int. I need to make sure that I'm declaring this as, as an int, and so th that will fix it. If I change this to an int and compile this, it fixed. Run this, and we see five. Now let's take it back to where I had a short. We still have the same issue here. Now another way we can fix it is by using typecasting. With typecasting, which we talked about in the previous video, and so. I know that this is an int over here, but what is required is a short because I've declared this as a short. So either I, I change this to an int so it stores the int that basically resulted here, which we, we just did like a couple of seconds ago. Or I change this to a short so the short can be stored in this short variable. And so I can, even though this result, this is resulting in an, in an int, I can use typecasting, right? surround everything with parentheses basically I'm I'm basically typecasting the result of first number plus second number to a short by using typecasting remember typecasting you type in the data type in front of what you want to typecast in parentheses so I'm converting the result of this the result of this to a short and now it w it's requiring a short so it will be able to store a short here. So when I compile this, that also works. Run this, and I get five. So those are two two ways to deal with it. Anytime you're dealing with bytes, short, int, in 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 a, in a, um, a math expression, the result becomes an int. So you have to make sure that if you're storing the result in a variable, that variable is also an int. Okay, it doesn't matter if these variables were short. There, you know, anytime you're dealing with math expressions, dealing with shorts, bytes, um, ints, they result in an int. So make sure what, what, whatever you're storing in here 
is also an int or make sure that that int you know that resulted here is converted to a short in this case you know before storing you know make sure you're you're converting it first before make sure you're storing the right type okay in the right um type because <laughs> you know kind of all right so so yeah so th th that's it with short int and byte now there are other ones there are other um math um uh, mi mixed expressions right so if you're dealing with a double if you're dealing with say hold on one second so let's let's just delete some few things make sure we are clean a little bit and i'll point out the other ones quickly okay so if you're dealing with a double and say a short right i am sorry over here so if you're dealing with a double and a short if one of your values is a double right the result becomes a double anytime you're dealing with um, math math expressions you know and one of your operands is a double it doesn't matter if the other one is not as long as one of them is a double your answer result to a double and so you have to make sure that the value that's the, or the variable that's storing the result you know it's also a double now this is a short so when I compile this I'm going to get an error say so it's possible loss of precision it's saying that hey one of these was was a double and so the whole thing evaluated to a double and so you need to make sure that whatever you're trying to store the result in is also a double it's saying this is a short this is too small for this double that's being ab I mean, about to be stored here and so make sure you make this big enough make sure you make this a double right it's saying required short because of course we declared this as a short but it found a double meaning this evaluated to a double because one of them was a double and so we can fix this by changing this to a double and so so that this double can be stored here and that's fixed or let me just go back to where we were or this is a short all right and if this is resulting in a double we can change everything using typecasting to a short so we can be, we can be able to store short in a, a short variable a short value in here typecasting we type in the name of that the type the data type surrounded in parentheses in front of what you want to typecast in this case the result of first number plus second number compile this and, and that also fixes it all right so that's when you have a double in in your calculation that's when one of your operands is a, is a double the whole thing evaluates to a double all right what if you have a float at least one float in your calculation it doesn't matter if this is an say an int it doesn't matter as long as one of them is a float the whole thing evaluates to a float so let's just clean this up a little bit it doesn't matter if the other operand is an int as long as one of them is a float the whole thing is a float the whole thing evaluates to be a float now over here i have a short right st storing the result when i compile this it's going to complain this evaluated to a float because one of them was a float but it's trying to store a float in a short variable and saying hey possible loss of precision this is too small for a float so either make this a float compile this and it works let's undo it to where we had an error or make sure that this float is converted to a short before you store it in this before you store it in this short var uh, variable so um, yeah so I'm going to typecast this to a short before I can do that now that, work, that works if you have a long everything you have values to be able to a long and so you have to make sure that you have to make sure doesn't this parenthesis doesn't doesn't matter you have to make sure that see it found a long because w if one of them is a long variable this whole thing is always too long and so you have to make sure that this is a long so we can hold the long value here or you have to make sure let's go back that if you want to really store a short you convert everything using typecasting this to a short so that it can be stored here as a short and that works 
All right, so if you, what if you have something like a long, uh, let's see, a double and a float? The bigger, okay, the bigger value. Now this work right, but let's let's just you know break it down. The bigger value is what what evaluated. So basically, this will evaluate to a double because a double is bigger of the of these two. So you need to make you need to make sure that if I compile this, I get I get an error. You need to make sure that because you see you found a double here because the bigger of these two is basically what evaluates um, after this calculation. So what the the result here will be a double. And so you need to make sure you, you make sure that this var variable is also a double. So if I change this to a double, that works. Or if I go back to where we were and make sure I typecast this, the parentheses doesn't matter, it still works, right? But now if I typecast this to a short, that will also work because now I can store a short in a short. If I have a double and a long, now we know that a double is bigger than a long. And so we know the calculation, first of all, here is going to evaluate to a double. It found a double, it required a short because this was declared as a short. And so either I make sure that this is a double, and that works, or I, let's go back to where we had an error. This is a short, right? If, if we really want to store a short, we have to make sure that this double that this calculation resulted to is converted to a shot using typecasting. The space doesn't matter, it still works. It still works without the space, with the space and without the space. And so when I run this, it works. <clears throat> all right, so I wanted you to have an understanding of this because all this is important, all right? All right, so yeah, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to um, respond to them. Um, just make sure you have a fundamental understanding, you know what's happening. And when you do this, then when you're working with your programs with numbers, you'll be fine. But if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.